Both my mother and grandmother were chemical engineers, which is very rare. My grandmother is actually from the Philippines. She immigrated here maybe 40, 50 years ago, and she was probably one of the only female chemical engineers in her university back then. And so growing up, I always knew what the major was and how versatile it was and sort of what uh, companies you could work for and uh, how that could be implemented in your career. And so that was kind of like my first inspiration for wanting to do chemical engineering. When I was deciding what major to pursue in college and really what I wanted to do with my life, I thought chemical engineering would be like the perfect mix of having an industrial impact, but also being able to implement the different skills of a researcher. Coming from the Northeast, I didn't know much about this university, but I was actually inspired to apply here by the old president of my high school because he said, hey, you're interested in engineering and you're good at science and math and Georgia Tech's one of the best schools in the country for chemical engineering, so you should apply. Well, I have done two internships within research and development at pharmaceutical companies. So I worked at Moderna and I worked at Merck. And the biggest takeaway that I have from both of those internship experiences is the large scale impact that chemical engineers can have on the pharmaceutical industry. When I kind of took a step back and started working in an academic research lab here at Georgia Tech, it really showed me that small scale impact can be very important in influencing the decisions of large-scale impact. I decided to pursue a PhD because I'm really interested in spending the next five years doing creative science and, and leading my own project and sort of discovering things that haven't been discovered before. The biggest thing I think I learned from my mother and grandmother being female chemical engineers is that you know no matter the time, no matter the circumstance, there's always going to be a seat at the table for me. My grandmother and my mother were going through engineering school. It was predominantly male. And I mean, I don't think they ever took that as a setback because they both graduated and had wonderful careers in the industry. With the privilege I have like in 2025 to become an engineer, I need to like use that privilege for like the better of society. Having two great influences in my life of female chemical engineers definitely showed me that the doors were wide open for any opportunity that I wanted to pursue. And that was just really special and like really inspiring.